Hey, and welcome back to Wave 8 Academy. In this unit, we'll guide you through the exciting process of populating Wave 8 with data yourself. You'll learn about how to define data structure and import data into your Wave 8 instance. This is a major milestone in not only using Wave 8, but understanding Wave 8's overall data architecture. After you're done with this unit, you'll be ready to populate your own vector database with Wave 8, which will transform the way you interact with your data. So let's get started. Before diving into the specifics, check out the prerequisites for this unit below. As always, we've listed any requirements as well as preparatory work, and we also highly recommend that you complete the previous Wave 8 Academy units if you haven't done so already. In this unit, we'll begin by looking at various components in Wave 8 that's used to store data. That means indexes and classes, as well as the schema. Learning about schemas is really important because this is where you draw up a blueprint or a structure for how your instance of Wave 8 is going to store and retrieve data. Defining a schema that'll work for your data is a key step in being able to retrieve the right data objects in a way that suits you. So we'll use this unit to start building that understanding of what indexes are, what a class and its properties represent, and how to configure them all through the schema. And then we'll put this blueprint into practice by importing data. So you'll also learn about how to import data in Wave 8 and some best practices along the way as well, like batch imports and how to avoid duplicate objects. By the end of this unit, you'll be fetching a real data set and populating a real Wave 8 instance, which is very exciting. So in summary, here's what you'll learn in this unit. You'll learn about data architecture, where you'll gain a high level understanding of the key components that allow Wave 8 to effectively store and retrieve data. You'll learn about schemas. Here, you'll learn about different components of a schema and how they relate to your data, empowering you to build a Wave 8 instance that works for you. And you'll learn about imports, where you'll see how data is imported into Wave 8, including best practices and tips. By the end of this unit, you'll have acquired invaluable knowledge about Wave 8's data architecture, and you'll have built a Wave 8 instance with real data. That's enough for me now, let's get started.